How's it going everybody? It's me Orange here and today I'm going to be doing another tutorial. Now I know it's been a while and it's fucking 2.02 .02 in the morning but you know what? I've seen that you guys been grinding that subscribe button over here so I'm just going to make a tutorial. Now guys I am running out of ideas. I'm serious. I have no ideas on what tutorials to make so I need you guys to literally either go join my discord and tell me or go ahead and comment down below and literally just tell me what you guys want because I have no idea. So we're going to go with something simple. Uh, I have been working on my little game that's why I haven't been active but um, let's go ahead and do something simple. And so today we're going to create a stat bar or something uh, many people want and surprisingly simple and it's basically a freaking health bar and yet people don't know how to do it come on guys it's just some math anyway let's go ahead and get started so um what we want to do first is just delete everything in here because everything in here is no a no no uh just make sure my i always have a clean um studio to start with you guys so first things first if you already have stats uh that means you already have a folder everything inside the player then you're good to go now um since i don't have it i'm going to roughly write a code um if you're completely new and you just came on to this video um this not really this isn't really for you dude uh this is for people who've created their stat system and they want a stat bar all right and um it's kind of like an exp bar uh yeah basically exp bar let's call this the exp bar video um so yeah uh if you're new then i don't suggest doing this i would actually suggest going to my data store tutorial uh this way you can get your stats down get your saving down and then you can proceed and create other extensional features such as um, the EXP bar. So I'm going to write a really rough code. It's not going to be great, but let's go ahead and list down all the services we may need. Uh, local uh, players. Debris. Replicated storage. player added connect function I'm just gonna quickly do this uh, I'm I don't because normally I'm really organized and keep everything organized but I'm just gonna rush it through a little bit because this is not the main part we, we should be dealing with but essentially what you should have is either a model or folder inside the player that stores the stats so let's go with the default one newbies use uh, which is the um, uh, the leader stats and leader stats um, dot name equals leader stats. Make sure your name is with a cat, uh, all lowercase, or else Roblox will not know. Okay, literally, actually, like um, if you actually capitalize anything, it won't work uh, for um, Roblox to actually show it uh, top right of your screen. And I'll show you what I mean later. Um, so let's quickly add local exp equals instance dot new now obviously you're gonna not just gonna have exp unless you only have a level system with level exp max exp and that's it then you do you but normally there's many stats in a game for example in an mmorpg you might have a strength exp stamina exp and when you create a stat you need three um three values the level the current exp and the max exp so let's go ahead and proceed so exp i'm not going to create a leveling system i already did that um what i'm going to do is show you how to make a bar out of it so exp dot value equals zero uh exp dot parent equals leader stats and let's name it as well that's very important exp and just copy this portion and all you gotta really do is add a max in front of it again uh you should have your uh leveling system down already so yeah i'm not gonna add a level because no thanks uh so 
basically what we're going to do is divide the current value aka 0 by 100 yeah to get the ratio of the bar like what percent are we at at the bar so if we're at 100 over 100 that's 1 and that basically means the bar is completely filled all right it's at 100 percent yeah so uh, I'll just go ahead and press play show you guys what it's like right now uh, let me just quickly check if this is actually still recording yes it is okay so we're gonna press play and basically we're gonna just show you what it does so as you can see right here you got the exp and uh, max exp and this is what I meant by the Roblox default leader stat leaderboard all right so um, we're gonna go ahead to start a GUI enter a screen GUI and then in there insert a um, frame okay so um, what you would be doing personally is um, creating this fancy GUI all right doesn't matter um, all you need is the holder so background all right and then you need the bar all right two very important things make sure you name them as well I hate it when people don't name their stuff uh, let's one zero one zero and obviously you can customize this bar which I will not be doing a lot of um, uh, let's get the bar back inside here uh, it moved away so you would have everything set up you're just here for the code all right so um, I'm just gonna change the bars color to yellow so it's this uh, this uh, you can actually distinguish the difference between uh, the two so local script um, basically what the script does is every single t uh, first obviously first new player so game.player.local player uh, every single time um, the stat changes uh, what you want to do is update the bar so leader stats dot exp dot change connect function all right notice how i got the leader stats this is the holder of all the stats right uh and then exp is in it so we do dot exp and this is a path and then this is an event where we check change all right and changed and basically what we're going to do is uh script dot parent dot background dot bar so you want to get to your bar, create a path to your bar, and then do tween size udim 2new All right, and then we're going to do leader stats .exp .value divided by. Remember what I talked about um the division. Uh, this shows what percent you're towards max. Um, this is just some simple math, and then you choose your uh tweening information. In this case, I prefer let's say 0.5 true all right and if you don't know what this is I suggest you search it up from wiki but uh, for a better explanation but essentially um, the first two arguments here uh, well this is actually the third argument but um, because this entire thing's an argument but um, this argument here basically shows what direction this argument here is the style and this argument here is the time it's going to take to tween and this argument here is if it will overlap now i always set this tr to true because normally i do this for health bars and exp bars right so uh, lots of the lots of times you'll probably get damaged within uh three times within 0 0.5 seconds so i like to keep it updated so um that's basically it this is really all you need and the bar will update so um uh you when you join a game though it won't update so all you really have to do to fix this is just copy paste this line so that it runs when you join the game so it should go all the way to zero uh all right my bad uh guys do not forget do not forget your dot value at the very end here all right notice how leader stats dot exp dot value leader stats dot max exp dot value all right you want two numbers comparing uh if you only do dot max exp exp you will get the error i just got um which means you can't compare a number value to a object value because you created a path as you can see it goes all the way down 
and um, to test uh, to prove that this actually works uh, I'm just going to insert a small script uh, for I equals 0 10 do this is a loop and what it the purpose of it is to add exp to us exp dot value equals exp dot value plus let's say let's give us 8 exp all right this is going to give us 8 exp 10 times so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all right it should stop here Oh, oh my bad all right I actually went to 11 because the first value is a zero but um yeah as you can see it's 88 over 100 and that's basically about 88 percent and as you can see the bar is basically 88 percent right and if you have a e uh, a automatic level system in there functioning um when the exp value hits this it will automatically it should automatically reset exp's value back to zero so the bar all you really have to do is leave it as it is. You just have to mess with the um, the stats and leveling and stuff like that. But yeah, that's really it for today. It's really that simple. Um, I will just let you look at this screen, pause the video, go ahead and copy if you need it or just understand what goes where because obviously you might not have the exact same variables as I do. So just take a look at that now I'll take a look at the local script which you are unable to see um, but I'll just basically tell you the bar is very important make sure it is um, script up and up so make sure you have the bar yeah and um, I can shorten this to make it a little bit easier for you to see let's just scroll out there we go um, pause the video go ahead and copy that um, and voila we are done so thank you guys for watching hopefully this guy uh, this helped you uh, a little bit um, I will update you on my upcoming game uh, which is going okay decently well um, I restarted like eight times but yeah um, other than that I really do hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial uh, go ahead and please tell me what to do next I'm really confused about that and yeah so um sorry for being so inactive you guys can keep grinding that subscribe button uh but i'll see you guys next time so goodbye